everybody's running around and talking about I'm living my best life and I'm living my truth. And I'm all with that. Live your truth. Live your best life. But I believe that so many of the people who are hashtagging that and, and really, you know, I'm out front of, of just living my truth and saying it are not doing it. And I think the easiest way to get there, to really live your truth and to really live your best life is to invert those phrases, like really turn them inside out. And you know, what's on the other side of that is stop lying to yourself. Like just be honest with yourself. If you just stop lying to yourself, you will then begin to live your best life and live your truth. I, you know, I got a friend, you know, just as an example, I got a friend, right? And he's a God-fearing man, really good guy. And, you know, he, he has been married, um, not once, not twice, but three times. And divorced three times. Now, he really thinks he wants a God-fearing, church-going woman. And that's what he always gets. He gets these wonderful women who, you know, they're, they're just really good women. But we all seem to know something about him that he doesn't seem to want to admit about himself. That man don't want no church-going woman. He don't want no God. Maybe, maybe overall he want a God-fearing woman, but at the end of the day, he want a stripper. It's as simple as that. And, and, and a, a, a stripper might be, you know, because there's a lot of dancers out there who are night. He, want, he, wants a, he wants a porn star. He wants something dirty. He wants something filthy. And he is not keeping these wives because at the end of the day, they are not what he really wants. And he just can't admit it to himself. Now, if he really went out there and just found himself a, a current porn star, an ex-porn star, or just somebody who is just downright filthy, he would be happier than a, 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 a pig in mud. Like, he would, this would do it for him. But he can't seem to just come to terms with who he is on the inside. He will not stop lying to himself. And now he's working on his fourth wife. But it don't just happen for men. You know, how many women do we know who, you know, first and foremost, ladies, before you got involved with that dude who's dogging you out, you knew exactly what you was getting into. You knew, you could sit here and you could, oh, he treated me different. And, you know, I'm not like the rest of the girls. He don't treat me like the, yes, he does. You knew what you was getting into long before you got into it. But for some reason, you thought you were going to be different. You thought you were going to be special. You thought that thing that you are sitting on was so good, it was going to help him change his ways. And you were going to be the one to set him on a straight and narrow. But please understand, stop lying to yourself. That man is who he is, and he is not going to change until he is ready to make a change. It ain't going to have nothing to do with you. I'm sorry to be the one to, to tell you this, but I'm just the messenger. Like, don't get mad at me. I'm just the messenger. Please understand, the next time you are hashtagging, I am living my truth, you have to really stop and think to yourself, am I lying to myself? So, you know, how many people are, are hashtagging boss life and, 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 and got their bottles up, you know, in the club with, with, with bottles that they can't really afford? And like, really think about this, like, like boss life. Everybody want to start their business. Everybody want to work for themselves. Nobody don't want a boss. But... The reality is, do you understand the sacrifice, the hard work, the, the amount of hours, the stress that comes with being your own boss? It ain't easy. 
So if you're a kind of person that your time, your time, it means everything to you, your family, your kids, like you want to do your eight hours, you don't want to do one minute after, boss life probably ain't for you. I don't care if you're trying to convince yourself, you're trying to convince everybody else. If you, like, like the proof is in the pudding, and I always say this, and I'm going to make a video on this at a future date, but there's more than eight hours in a day. For so many people talking about, I want to do this or I want to do that, okay, you can have your full-time job. That's your eight hours, but after that, you got the rest, you got another 16 hours to yourself. How are you spending them? And if you're a person that, you know, everything else takes priority, you know, you wanna come home, you wanna rest, you wanna throw your feet up, you know, you wanna spend time with the kids, you wanna spend time with your wife or your husband, kudos to you, good, but stop hollering about, I'm a boss. Like, like I want to start my own business. We have to, and, and, I really, and I truly believe as human beings, we will be so much more happier. We will be so much more fulfilled, like deep on the inside of ourselves. If we just come to terms with who we are and it doesn't matter, you know, what other people think. It don't matter what you see on the gram. It don't matter what everybody else is in the world is doing. That wouldn't matter to you if you're like, yo, you know what? Great, I'm happy for you. You know, I got no hate in my heart. But I am really not lying to myself and I'm truly living my truth. And I think that the day that people stop doing that and really, you know, start living their truth and stop lying to themselves, you come to understand that in and of itself is a power move. Think about it. Peace and love make every move a power move. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. All love. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.